Hello guys, uh, back at it again. Um, I'm going to do a little review of the R210. It is a uh, decent, pretty good server. Um, just uh, It's the very first generation, as you can tell. There's no Roman numerals next to the 210, so it's the first generation. Pretty noisy. Sounds like a lawnmower driving through a, a little server room. It does have two Xeon, not two Xeon, it has one Xeon um, CPU. I got it for a very good price on eBay. Bought it for my UTM, but I decided I'm not going to use it anymore because I replaced the, this with uh, Edge Router Pro for more for routing and some things like that. I kind of went with cloud based security to protect my network and. Uh, I might implement Snort down the road, just a VM, and maybe um, a few other things. But my web filtering is done by uh, OpenDNS. I pay for, uh, for the business package, just a premium one. It's like twenty some dollars a month. I can't remember off the price. But um, yeah, let's uh, get in going. As you guys can tell, this server has a pretty compact chassis. Got the CMOS battery. You got your modules here for your, uh, this is for the iDREC module. Even though <clears throat> the server has iDREC built into it, iDREC, it's not the enterprise version. To make the console work, you do need this one. Plus the iDREC uh, basic, not basic, can't remember exactly, but that goes for pretty much mostly all the powered servers. So you got four of the, I believe these are 25, 30 millimeter fans or 50, can't remember. They are pretty noisy. Um, not gonna be flipping this little boy on, I don't have any power cord next to me, but um. Overall, it's a decent server if you're not complaining about the noise. Um, not too bad, but there's a CPU. We got a total of four DIMM slots. Um, right now, it's just two gig sticks. I mean, for a for what it had, the UTM didn't need more than four gigs. It was plenty. Um, we got. I put the drive back in. It has two drives that it came with, two 500s with an uh, onboard RAID didn't do too, I don't think it was onboard RAID, it was just onboard SATA yep, onboard SATA the other server was onboard RAID um, so it came with two 500 gigs the second one's around here somewhere but, um, let's flip this puppy around got a little uh, sponge in there so I could flip this puppy around easily so, we got our power supply, it's not redundant, it's a single P PSU, then you got your service tag, IPMI, your button for notification, it's on back and on, on front, 2 gigabit uh, Ethernet, you got your USBs, 2.0, so your eSATA, VGA, serial, and your um, iDRAC, which is not here, I took it out, but put it back the slot back in. But, um, yeah. Is that close to that? There we go. Um, for the heck of it, since I do have a power cord next to me, we will do a simulation. of it powered on. So let's put the cover back on. One way. There we go, this is nice.
There we go. So this will be a, a sound test. I mean, keep in mind, I have this rack up here running, so got to do some kill management here. But um, keep in mind that rack is running, so this is pretty loud still. So power it on. Cold beating on there. Pretty good airflow. I was gonna do some air test for the thing quiet down. But it's powered on. And it quiets down, but once the load comes on it speeds up, so oh. we're gonna like something. Oh, just kidding. But yeah, other than that, it's a pretty nice server. Um, I might possibly keep it. I might sell it. I will sell it with the two drives it came with. Put it back on eBay. Or if someone's interested, I could sell it. Um, but yeah, other than that, there's a little review about the Dell PowerEdge R210.